I was first starting out in photography, I was in this photography class, and um, I was shooting a lot of cityscapes of the of Grand Rapids, and no one had really shot the city at night in black and white, kind yeah. of how I was experimenting with photography. And somebody said to me, I never forgot it, but it's like, uh, he was speaking to the class, not to me, but he's like, you can make Grand Rapids our own. Like, why can't we make Grand Rapids as famous as uh, a lot of <laughs> images by Ansel Adams or other great uh, photographers that are, you know? Yeah. It's like, it starts with the creation, mm -hmm. the creative of it, and then the audience becomes familiar with it. Right. So. That's the whole concept behind GRUSA. Yeah. That actually mirrors my well, approach tell me, to the music. Yeah, I know <clears throat> all about it, but tell me, tell us what GRUSA is. Is a branch of your yeah, do clothing label, mm -hmm. apparel? It's the premier uh, merchandising and clothing apparel brand out of Grand Rapids, out of our city. Um, for a long time, you know, I always felt like we needed representation, and I made that one of my priorities when I make my music. And... Um, I used to do videos and photo shoots, and I would go get custom pieces made, T-shirts, hats, sweaters, yep. and I'll put Grand Rapids concepts on them, or I'll put Grand Rapids on them. Yeah. And um, like one of my first, well, my first video uh, through my major release, uh, I had a T-shirt on, and it had a bunch of streets on the southeast side on the shirt, you know, all these blocks, Kalamazoo, yeah. Wealthy, Eastern, yeah. Burton, da, 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 just random streets from our neighborhood. Right. And it was it was like it was navy. It was like um, it was yellow, so it was supposed to be play a playoff of U of M, and, yeah. and you know this whole thing. Michigan pot tying in Michigan exactly. as a state, exactly. And then um, everybody kept saying, and green doesn't look as good on. Other I did. I, I went on to do. I did a green one next. Yeah. I did that. But I just started there. You know? I was sort of slamming on Michigan the Spartans. State. Nah, but, but nah, my nah. daughter goes to See, Michigan, so I've become me, a. I send too much <clears> money that way, so I have to be a fan. I'm a big, huge fan of Michigan. That's an interesting thing. Let me tell you, and I'm probably the only person that feels this way. You know where we where we're from. It's either state or you. You know how it goes. I feel like and and please everybody don't throw tomatoes at me. When I leave out of Michigan, like out of Grand Rapids, I leave out of this area. I have to have to represent both, and that makes sound oh, like I'm, sure. I may sound like just a complete traitor by saying that to each other. But I wear state and I wear U of M when I'm away from Michigan because it's I'm a, no. Well, it's a it's a good business move because how to do it because the alumni associations alone, how many there's are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of graduates of each of those, exactly. and if you alienate one Come or on, both, man. it's like Come on, that's not all, smart. We're you know? all about uh, that's what I learned about you real quick is you're real business minded for sure. Yeah, for sure. I have to make sure I'm speaking to everybody. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But um, yeah. So I was just making those pieces. And my friends kept saying, yo, where can I get that? Is that, is that the clothing line? I kept saying, nah, this is just, you know, I'm just doing it for me. So uh, my business partner, Jonathan Jokes, he said, all right, enough of the, <laughs> the novelties. Right. We need to package this and sell this to people. You know what I mean? And how long ago did that start? It seems like a pretty fresh brand, but it's taken uh, hold real quick. Yeah, yeah, we started 2015. Um, that's when, we, that's when we, we started putting it together. And then we launched the website, I think it's 2016. And um, we've been rolling ever since then. Yeah, it looks great, and uh, you see all kinds of people wearing it too. Mm -hmm. It isn't just uh, it isn't just kids. It isn't just uh, you know. There's occasionally we wanna, some. We want, we want to represent our landscape out here, our cultural yeah. landscape. What do we look like in Grand Rapids? You know, well, all kinds of people, all kinds of walks of life and demographics. We want everybody to get in on it. This Full Exposure podcast episode has been made possible through the support of Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn, who believe that creativity and the arts are essential to a rich, healthy, and fulfilling life.